Okay. So we'll start with our warm up standing up, and this week, as you, you know, I'm going to focus a lot on shoulders, backs, and hips opening, usual sort of thing. So let's have our hip bones are here and our feet are straight down underneath them. So we've got nice hip width apart um, feet, and we want them facing forward so they're not turning in, turning out, higher. Um, and let's just have a little sway side to side. So we're just getting ourselves nice and centered, and we can. Find a nice central point in the middle. Then we can sway back and forth, lift the toes, really feel grounded. So we've got the big toe, the little toe, the ball of the foot, so we're nice and centered. The knees are just very slightly soft, so they're not pushed back and locked out. And then we're thinking of upwards through the body. So we want our knees over our ankles, our hips over our knees, our shoulders over our hips, and our ears over our shoulders. So we're pulling up nice and tall. Hands down by the sides and we're opening up that chest. Let's take a nice deep breath in for the nose. And out for the mouth. So as we're breathing in, we're letting the belly fill up with air and the diaphragm and all round here. Get that air in the sides and the back. And then as you breathe out, use your sort of corset muscles to squeeze all the air out. So we really want to try and do that throughout the class so that we've always got the tummy muscles engaged. So a nice deep breath in and out. And it's like you're breathing into a mirror to steam it up. So try not to just breathe from your throat. Try and really get those abs to squeeze that air out. Let's take one more long breath. Then we'll continue with the squeezing in the belly, but just regular length breath. Let's rotate the neck, let's draw a little circle with the nose. It's going to warm the head, neck and shoulders up and the other way. Lovely. And then let's breathe in, let's just lift the chin slightly. Breathe out, tuck the chin down. So it's not like we're nodding the head forward, we're just tucking that chin in so we can lengthen the back of the neck, feel the shoulders back and down. And just a little chin tuck, breathe in, lift. Let's get those palms open to the front. And then breathe in, let's lift the arms. Let the ribs stretch away from the hips, swing them down and up. Feel that tummy stretch, a little bounce in the knees. With that swing preparing us, we're gonna swing all the way down, chest to knees. And again. One more. And back up and get ourselves nice and centered again. Lovely. Let's just start. Make sure I've got room. I'm going to do a little circle with the arm and I'm going to follow the fingers with my eyes and rotate round. Don't worry about the body moving as well. We're just opening up these shoulders to get a bit more mobility in the neck. So you can really, you're almost still drawing that circle, but to the side, let's do the other arm. Breathe in as we take away, out as we come back. <sighs> Try and make your movement last your full length of breath. So we're always controlling the breath, controlling the body. One more. Lovely stuff. Let's change direction, change arms. So we're looking back, calm and forwards. Again, breathe in, breathe out. Half the length of the movement, breathing in. And out, in, and out, one more, lovely, let's switch arms. One more, then bring those arms in front, let's cross them, hands on the shoulders, keep the chin in line with where the wrists are crossed, a little bit of softness in the knees. Bit more bend than usual, keep the tummy tight, let's twist to the side. The hips stay forward, back to centre, lovely. So we breathe in as we twist away, but resist, use the body, the muscle here to squeeze and keep that hip forward. Come back and breathe in, twist, and come back. Breathe in, twist, let's add a reach, you can follow with the head now. Keep the shoulder down and come back, lovely. Breathe in, reach, breathe out, come back. Lovely, and again, twist, reach, keep those hips forward. One more. 
good. Let's have the arms to the side. A little tiny side bend. So we're warming the spine up. We've rotated it. And now we're going to bend it side to side. We can stay here. You can have your hands on your hips or we can start to add on a little bit more. We can reach up, one arm up, one arm down, just reaching over slightly and change. Reach one arm up, one down and slight bend. Just let the neck relax. Wonderful. I'm going to add a bit more and I'm going to reach out first, then up, then over. And release. It just means your ribs shift that way, so you reach out first and then up and over. It's just a bit of isolation for the body and change again. Reach out, like trying to grab something up and over, keeping your arm near your ear. Imagine you're leaning against the wall so the back stays nice and straight. Lovely and release. Good. Let's warm these wrists up. Bring them in front, a little flick up and down. I'm going to do a little bit of upper body work today, not push-ups or anything, but some of the opening and shoulder stabilisation I'm going to do is going to be with the wrists in this position, so I'll give some options as well. And let's circle these wrists round. And the other way, and then bring them together. We're going to do our figure of eight, gentle, lovely. And then we're going to bend and stretch so we create a nice little fluid motion this is a little bit more into the fingers but feel that wrist bend lovely stretch the hands stretch the fingers stretch the wrist reach up shoulders let them shrug up and then slide them down so you can sense the difference let's lift just the right shoulder small stretch <sighs> lovely come back let's lift the other one lift and release, lovely, bring the hands down, palms to yourself, push the backs of your hands to me, stretch those shoulder blades apart, tuck the chin in, and release, lovely, a nice little other stretch for the wrist, so have your hands in front, make a fist and drop the hands forward, and then just turn them out to the side, and then we release, and then turn them out again. I really like this one, I think it feels really nice. We do a lot of things with our hands, so again, we need to stretch those wrists, lovely. Let's just stretch them the other way, so just gentle pressure on the fingers. I didn't catch that, oh. could you try again? <laughs> the watch made me jump. It always thinks I'm talking to it, I'm not. I don't know how no, stretch, shut up. I don't know how stretching your wrists sounds like, hey Siri, I wish you could change the names. Anyway, I should. That's how I find a way to turn it off when I'm teaching. And then just let those wrists slide along the hips and stretch here. Lovely. Okay, coming to the uh, lengthways of our mat so that we can roll down. I'm going to do, once we're down there, I want to do some um, stretching of the calf. So we're going to do some down dogs, but it's all about the legs. So we're not focusing on getting these arms up and too much pressure on the wrist but we'll do that when we get there so feet hip width apart underneath you imagine you're leaning against the wall your bottom on the wall your head on the wall and we breathe in and as you breathe out you imagine someone's pulled the power cord out so your head you just and then your shoulders so you're really like a floppy doll squeezing the tummy in and just feel those shoulders round a bit like this stretch we just did, feel those shoulders round. If you're feeling it in your back, bend the knees and support. Otherwise, just start to bend, bend, bend. When you can't go anymore with the back, then you start to engage the hips and you fold forward. But you're still trying to get the head down, eyes to the knees. Breathing in at the bottom. Breathing out, come back up. So keeping that bottom on that imaginary wall and we stack the spine one vertebra at a time back up on top of each other. And again. Breathing at the top, head, shoulders, scooping the tummy, stretch the back round, 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 pull the tummy in. Breathing at the bottom, breathing out, coming back up. Next time, we're going to take it down. 
And let's come bending the knees so the chest is on the legs and then the hands are here. So this is kind of where I want to be. You can know, have the hands a bit further forward and then we can have those heels off. But this is what we're going to work with at the moment. So we're going to have bent legs. And then just think of gently pushing one leg down. So with this position, the closer your hands are towards you, the less stress it is on your shoulders and it's a little bit easier. The further away you start to get, the harder it's going to be to push your heel down because you've got further to go. So try and find somewhere that's comfortable for you and just think of being able to press a heel, release, press a heel, release. You hold down, I'm going to move my camera. Try it down here. This is where I'd like it. That's it, lovely. Wonderful. So let's try both heels. Heels down. Heels relax, straighten the legs and relax, straighten and relax. Let's do one more, straighten and relax, knees all the way down. Let's just release those feet, let's sit back, hands behind, head down, just relax into child pose for a moment. Lovely, coming back up. Lovely, let's come onto all fours and do our cat-cow. So your hands are under your shoulders, your knees are under your hips. And this is all about this lower back area. We're not hunching the shoulders up to the ears, the, lower, the shoulders stay down. So your tailbone, tuck it under. Pull the tummy in, tuck the tailbone under. And then release, tailbone goes back. Then tuck the tailbone under. Pull your belly right up as if you're trying to touch the spine and release. Then we'll add the head. So as your tailbone goes back, shoulders back, lift your chest and your chin and then underneath. Gently look underneath and add breath with that. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in and out. And again, breathing. And now really feel that tummy stretch, feeling all these ribs stretch here. One more round, come back down and rest. Lovely, so do a little bit of shoulder opening. So we can stay in this position here to start with and I'm going to take my hand to my temple, doesn't matter which one because we're going to do both sides and I'm going to open up. So I'm trying to get the shoulder away from my ear and stretch this elbow back and a little follow with the head and come back down. So this is our base level, I'm going to keep adding on to this. The movement's going to depend uh, on whether your shoulders are okay with this or your wrists are okay with this. So we'll just try it and keep adding on. You listen to your body, let's do one more. Lovely, let's switch sides. So resting into the other hand, hand to temple, open up. So when you're in this position, your hips are kind of folded, so you can't use them too much. You've got to use the spine and the shoulders. So it might be tight, we're always tight in the shoulders. And use breath with it, so don't strain the neck, breathe and close. One more, and close, lovely. So coming up, taking it higher. Again, you've got to lean into your hands a bit more here. I'm gonna, same thing, and on the way down, I'm gonna try and rotate a bit more and open up to so what bigger range of movement. Rotate down, open up. Again, I'm really stretching, getting this shoulder back. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, let's switch. So bringing that elbow down, just means we're getting a lovely rotation in the spine. Opening up the shoulder, getting mobility into this back. Let's do two more. And then I'm gonna do the last add-on, and there's options. 
So the last one, you've got two options here. We're going to make it bigger, but I do want to do it on all fours. So if your wrists are, you know, you don't like leaning into them or you've got any wrist trouble, you could do the same thing. You could open up here and then you can thread right through. You can so you can make it big here or you can come onto all fours, which I'm going to do. So I'm going to open up, trying to get this arm right back and then thread it through and then open up. So this arm's doing a mini push up as I come down and I've got to push up. So it's really what you want. <sighs> Last one, hold it up for four, keep that shoulder from the ear, squeeze the tummy, then thread it through, but thread it down past your knee diagonally, so not straight across. Rest the shoulder into the floor, rest the head down. The hand that you would just been leaning on, so your other one, not the one you're stretching, you can leave it there or you could take the back of the hand around the back, trying to open this shoulder up a bit more. Don't let the shoulder drop, lift it up. If you're comfortable, you can reach that arm up. Again, you can see my shoulder, don't let it drop. Reach it up, stretch that hand, stretch those arms. And release. So we're going to do the other side. So we are taking this other arm, open up, and come through. And then we get this nice little push up here, open up, and come through, and open up, and come through. Lovely, and open. Come through, let's do one more. Come through and stretch. So we're pressing into this shoulder to get the stretch and the head just relaxes down. And this hand can stay here. So the shoulder, opening it up, even if your hand's here. Back of the hand, pulls the shoulder back a little bit more. And then if you're comfortable, you can reach up. Your head can still be here. The neck might not be comfortable. It's mainly the shoulder up and open. That's what we're doing. We're engaging these muscles here to hold this. And release, lovely. Let's get these knees open and just stretch the upper body through. So we're really trying to get an arch in this upper back. So think of sort of reaching forward. Pushing the chest down and release, lovely. So I do want to do a really good uh, opener for the hip flexors as well. Um, I think we'll do it after we've got our hip flexors a bit warmer. So I think at the moment we haven't done too much. They're usually nice and warm after we've done our ab work. For now, let's lie down on our tummies and work our backs a little bit more. So I'm going to do a couple of exercises here. I'm going to do something for the arms and we're going to do something for the backs. So it's, um, it's a push-up of sorts, but it's not a full push-up. So I want to have the hands here as if you're going to push yourself all the way up. Um, but we're going to sort of combine it with a cobra as well, which means we get mobility into the back and it's not too stressful on the hands. So we're just simply just going to push up and come back down. So you just, it's like a half push up, but don't let your elbows do this, otherwise you're pushing onto the outside of your wrist, so your elbows stay in. And we just lift up a little bit. You work with what your arms are happy with. And this sort of exercise is keep the chin tucked in, we'll strengthen the arms so that one day we could do a full push up. I think this is just a nicer way of doing it. I prefer these, and then you get the nice extension we're arching the back, so we're getting a nice stretch, stretching the tummy, and we're gently working those arms. If this is really uncomfortable, you can come forward a little bit, and it's not so tight. But generally, find your position. Let's do three more. Last one. Lovely. Let's just relax our head 
down on hands on top of hands. I want to try and lift these legs. So I'm going to push my hips into the floor, tuck my tummy in and lift a leg up. We're trying to stretch under here and work the glute. So think of that leg lengthening as if someone's grabbed your ankle is pulling it. Pull your tummy in and then squeeze the bottom, lift it up and release. Then we'll lengthen the other leg, lengthen and lift and lower, using breath, breathing, lengthen and lift and lower, lengthen and lift, really squeeze the bottom and lower, lengthen and lift and lower, one more. Wonderful. So that's our first level. We can stay there, but I want to start bringing the upper body into it. So I'm going to have my arms here, so I'm slightly supported. And as I lift my left leg up, I'm going to lift my right arm up. So I'm just reaching up and lowering. The body's lifted the whole time now, just reaching up. I haven't got my arms too straight, otherwise you end up overreaching and pulling the shoulders. So they're just in front of you. Lift. So we're going to take this into the swimming exercise soon, but we're just going to build up to it. So it's just one arm at a time, opposite leg, opposite arm, reach and lift. It means you're working all the way down the back. And in this position, squeeze your tummy so you're not pressing your belly into the floor. Lovely. And release. Good. So option now is what I want to try and do is lift the hands and the feet off the floor very slightly and we're going to do swimming your arms and legs just move at the same time the idea is you're trying to keep the body still Again, if that's too much you could just rest the head down and you can just paddle the legs but the idea is straight legs get the knees off the floor if you can do your arms as well great palms down so we lift and paddle one Two. So your body's still, your head is still, chin is down, the spine is still. It's just your legs and arms paddling, squeezing the bottom. Keep going. Eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one. Release. Lovely. Hands here that we just did that push up position, push all the way up, stretch the tummy and let's push back into a child pose. Round the lower back. Lovely. I want to lie on our sides. And I want to lie completely straight along the back end of your mat, or however you can visualise yourself being straight. It could be the front end. I've got my ear on my arm and my palm is facing upwards. And my feet are stacked on top of each other. So if they're stacked, your ankles are straight and your hips are straight. So often we used to bring the legs out in front to create a C curve. But because we're going to do a double leg lift, that won't work. So you've got to be 100% straight. So your fingers are going to help you with balance. You can pull this shoulder underneath you a bit so you've got a gap. And it means you're balancing even more because effectively you're leaning on your hip and your shoulder and nothing else, and you've got to really use the core to hold that, that's what we're aiming for. Shoulder back, engage the tummy, and then this top leg, let's just lift it and lower, it's very small, so it's our first level, lift and lower. Relax that underneath foot. And I'm squeezing my glutes, my bum, to lift this up. I'm having to squeeze here to hold underneath a little bit, but it's just a small one. It's also working your waist, so you can, you, if you put your hand there, you can feel it, it's working your waist and your back. Quite a lot going on there. We're going to change this to double legs in a minute, and then you can decide on there's some arm options. So I've kind of renamed this, we called it like the flappy fish, because I feel like You'll see what I mean in a minute. Like a fish has been taken out of water, so feet together, lift both and lower and lift both and lower. So now don't worry about the gap under here because when you lift your legs, you push your tummy into the floor slightly, which is fine. But if I 
take my arm off. And again, the arm's optional, so you can stick with one leg and maybe just take an arm off if you want. You might find one leg like this is challenging enough. If you can do both legs and you've got your arm on your side, this is why I feel like a fish. I feel like a fish that's been taken out of the sea and is flapping its tail. <laughs> that's just my visual. But you could do this with the hand here. And I'm doing this relatively quickly. So it's really, really engaging here. So if you feel there, you'll feel those muscles really working. Squeeze the tummy in. Again, stick to one leg if that is easier. Feet together and it's not about height. So you can have your arm on your leg. Let's do the last eight, seven. If you really want to challenge, take your arm off completely. You've got nothing to balance with. Four, three, two, one. Oh, it's quite tough, that one. We're really going to work these waists. Uh, I know we're predominantly focusing on shoulders and hips, but we do like to do the core stuff as well. So nice little exercise here. Take your top leg, bring your knees in a bit. Take the top leg over, and then we're gonna have this arm here. We're gonna have the elbow here, and you're just crunching up very small. So you can be here, take the hand palm down, and you're feeling it in that sort of corner of your tummy, the side. If you want, you can crunch up a little bit more. Try not to lead with your neck and feel stress in the neck. So just think it's the rib cage is sliding to your hip and your head is just following. I'm just going to do eight of these. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Lovely. So similar, knees together. Again, I'm just going to rest the arm here. If that's more comfortable, do that whatever you want to do. So we're going to do the oyster. I'm going to add on options for this one as well. So I want to start to add the arm. This is going to work our rotator cuff. Arm is really into the waist, nice and strong, making a fist. And as you close, the leg closes, open, squeeze that arm in. Breathe in, squeeze. So the shoulder is away from the ear. You're squeezing your arm into your rib and you're opening. If you want a challenge, we could lift the feet and open this way. So again, this is our base move. I'm going to add on to this soon and take it up into a bit of a harder position. But let's just start here. One more. Lovely. So again, this is working the waist. I'm going to come up on to my arm. Really important, the elbow is right underneath that shoulder. You might want a little bit of padding, see what your elbow feels like. Exactly the same, open and close. Slightly different with the arm, going back to what we did earlier for the shoulders, open the arm up and try and thread the arm through. Open the arm up, thread the arm through. Breathing into it. You can follow that hand with the head as long as you feel you're not going to fall forwards, fall backwards. This is really working into our glutes. Two more like this. And then I'm going to do the last set. And again, it's up to you. You can stay lying down. You can stay on the arm. Or we can lift up into a half plank. So I'm going to lift the hips up. So I'm starting here. Imagine you've got a candle burning and you're trying to keep lifting up that's the feeling we've got and we're here we open thread through and open just eight here so if you've got bad shoulders probably avoid this keep your hips down got three more one more and release well done what we'll do is switch sides, otherwise I forget what I'm doing if we do an in-between bit. That was quite a long side session. Lying down. So let's lengthen the body again. Getting our feet stacked. Really straight all the way down. Move that round, that's it. Getting ourselves nice and straight, pulling underneath. So I've got my gap here, if we can balance there. Relaxing the feet. 
hand it here, just fingertips, and we're going to squeeze, lengthen this top leg, squeeze and lift. So we're using the glutes, the bum, a little bit into the waist as well. The core is what's stopping you rolling forward and backwards, that's where your tummy and all that's going to come into this. The connection's bad today. A lot of you have turned your videos off. Do say if it ever happens. Lovely. Three more. And again, with this single leg, we're going to continue the single leg. If you want to continue the single leg as it is, or maybe challenge yourself with your arm on here, or eventually taking it up. Or shall we try the double legs? This is where you become the fish. Lift. And now it's really small. The idea is you're sort of pushing your hip into the floor and lifting these legs up so you'll feel it here. It is quite a jerky movement and that's why I think I prefer to do it a little bit quicker. Again, if you want your arm off and your arm sort of sliding down your leg, this is where I feel it becomes like a fish. You don't have to go this fast. I do think it, I think it helps me get some momentum going. For the last eight, can we take the arm off? One, two, three, four, don't roll backwards. Six, seven, eight, well done. So this arm that's here, it's gonna come through. This one here, bend the knees, take the back foot back. And then just a crunch, pull the tummy in and crunch if you want push on the hand and elbow and lift up slightly just eight of these and two and three you should really feel it in that waist now we've done those other exercises four more three two and one lovely let's rest the head back down rest on the arm knees together roll forward a little bit more and we are doing the oyster, so we're now working as glute muscles. Just open and close, hand, shoulder down, arm in, and follow with that arm. Where's the music on? Open, close, open, close. Love, if you want to take it up. Feet open, squeeze that arm in. So this is working our rotator cuff. The gravity is pulling the arm down, so it's a bit harder than doing it standing up. We usually do it as the warm up, but it's really good for your maintenance of your shoulders. Four more, three, try and get that knee up so you're squeezing your bum. And one, lovely. We're gonna continue this. Again, this is taking it up a level. You don't have to, slightly leaning on the elbow. Giving yourself padding if you want, but keep that elbow under the shoulder. Sometimes we tend to lean that way or lean that way. Got to try and stay lifted. Open up and down. We're going to open the whole arm and thread through. And open. So we're twisting the whole torso around. Again, it's still focusing on those oblique muscles. Trying to replicate movements of daily life. So the body is ready. When you do these re reaches and twists, or if you do any sort of sports, your body's ready for it. Three more. Two. And one. We're going to do our last eight, either here, or we can take it up into this little side plank. Same thing. Remember, you've got your burning candle. Lift your hips, and we open the knee and open the hip. One. And rotate. If you really found the rotating difficult or your shoulder hurt, you could just lift the hips up and down. But if you're in a position where this is tough, probably keep your hips on the floor. It's probably best whilst you're building up to it or getting over any injuries. We've got three more. One more. Release. Wonderful. We need to do some nice stretching out of the shoulders. So let's come up to a sitting position, comfy sitting position. 
cross-legged or if your legs don't like being crossed you can have the legs out hand down just keep bottom on the floor reach one arm up try and keep your ear knee shoulder shoulder knee rear even reach feel that side stretch and change so we shall go on to our backs and do some abdominal work with the legs and then we can do this lovely leg stretch a new leg stretch not a new stretch so get your feet hip width apart in line with your sitting bones and then as you start to roll down slowly vertebrae vertebrae you can bring them in so you see where they're going to be they're hip width apart and they're parallel and then we lie down so we've got our spine in neutral we've got a little gap now let's think about the shoulders being down, scooping the hands up the back of the neck, lengthening that neck, hands down, shoulders down, squeeze the tummy. Breathing in, breathe out, feel the tummy drawing in, squeezing it, zipping up your pelvic floor like you're holding in a wee. Breathe in, release, breathe out, squeeze. Breathe in, breathe out, squeeze and now flatten the back into the floor. So a little pelvic tilt here. And feel, don't just feel you're pushing the tailbone into the floor. Try and feel that you're pushing this area into the floor and it will make you tilt even more. As if you're about to lift up, so really get into the back of the ribs and release. Breathe in, breathe out, release. Breathe in. Release, breathe out, flatten. Feel the whole of the spine, the whole of the back, all the way up to here. And release. We're going to breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, flatten and hold here. So let's not push with the feet or the hands. Let them relax. Just feel like you've got a big block pressing down on you. So we're stretching out our lower back, engaging the abs. There's a nice stretch for the back and just hold here. Let the legs, toes be relaxed. The chin is tucked in. Shoulders are relaxed. One more breath. Breathe out, release. Breathe in. Breathe out, flatten the back. Flatten, flatten, flatten. Now squeeze that bum and lift those hips. So we lift, let your ribs be low, your bum is high. And imagine someone's grabbed your knees and they're pulling them that way. So you're lengthening that way. Neck is long. Let's breathe in and out here a few times. I'm going to do a little bridge walk. So we just lift the right foot and we lower it down. Keep this really still as if you're balancing something on here. Lift the left foot. Breathe in, breathe out, lower. Squeeze those bottoms, breathe. Lift the right foot and lower, then the left. Keep those hips high. Relax the shoulders, don't grip with the fingers. One more, lift right and lower then lift left and lower and roll down lovely let's bring the knee into the chest just the right knee roll it round and the other way place it back on the floor left knee in roll it around and the other way then keep hold of the left leg lengthen the right leg away Nice little uh, hip flexor stretch, nice gentle one. Let's look side to side. And then we switch. Right knee in, lengthen this one. We're gonna do a really nice hip flexor sitting up in a moment, so. Let's do some abdominal work. So I'm gonna build up to this one as well. We've been doing this the last few weeks. This is like when we had rollers. So we imagine we have rollers, we haven't. So your foot is kind of just gonna be sliding in and out like this. It's very light on your mat, don't press down, otherwise it's not gonna get there. So in neutral, neck is long, chin is tucked in. Just lengthen your right leg out, bring it back and left. And bring it back, lovely, nice and easy. Just thinking about when I take my leg out, does anything else move? Is everything still here? Let's add an arm and a leg. So if your right leg goes down, left arm goes up. 
and you're taking your thumb, trying to reach the floor. Again, we're opening up the shoulder, keeping the chest heavily into the floor so you're not using your spine to open the shoulders. And you've got to think about this so you're having to use coordination in your brain. Let's try and use breath with it as well. Breathe in, lengthen. Breathe out, come back. Breathe in, lengthen. Breathe out, come back. Breathe in, lengthen on the out breath. Squeeze the abdominals, squeeze the pelvic floor. So everything's working twice as hard. Lovely stuff. Okay, what I want to do now is lift my right leg up and have it here. Just leave it dangling in the air. Uh, the back's nice and imprinted into the floor because of the leg lift. If you can get your leg straight, wonderful. Really don't focus on that. Just get this left leg in and out. Really pull the tummy in, flatten that back into the floor, left leg in and out. You're going to be in neutral a little bit because of the leg being lifted, but still try and feel you're pulling that belly in. Now this top leg, we want to kick it down and kick it up. So you don't have to go all the way, it starts small. So leg comes down, so at one point in time you're going to split and then you come back. So one leg slides, one leg kicks. You work at your level, the split, the range of movement. Just breathe. Don't matter which way round, just keep breathing. I'm going to add an upper body crunch. Again, it's an add-on. As the leg kicks up, I'm going to crunch towards it. Support the back of the head with the fingers around the backs of the ears. Don't pull on that neck. Pull the tummy in, squeeze the pelvic floor. Four more here. Then keep the head lifted, just do the legs. Head and shoulders can be down if you prefer. Last eight. Three, squeeze that tummy, squeeze the pelvic floor. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, well done, bring those knees in. Have a roll round, well done. We're gonna do this on the other side. Left leg in the air, let this dangle. We're gonna get the right leg pumping back in and out. It's a good workout for your legs as well here. It's really just gentle, the toes are just grazing the floor. Let's reset up, pull the tummy in, squeeze the pelvic floor, neck is long, lovely. Let's start to get this other leg to move around. So kicking one, lengthening the other. Can we do it for straight leg? Then think of that breath, moving with breath. Get the hands ready at the back of the head to add a little crunch when the leg comes up. Squeeze the pelvic floor, squeeze the tummy, keeping about the size of a fist under your chin and it's your ribs just lifting and crunching. Don't move the head or bend the neck too much. Two more here, then hold. You can keep the head and shoulders down or hold up and just the legs for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, that is hard. Woo, wonderful. All the hard work is done. I'm going to start doing some nice things now. <laughs> and slowly bring yourself up to sitting. So, this is a stretch which is gonna stretch these hip flexors that we've just literally worked. It is on the knees, so I'm gonna have a bit of extra padding. So you can double your mat up or just pop a pillow under your knees. So, I am going to be on the knees. I'm just gonna move my camera a tiny bit. Sorry. That's it. That's it. So, one foot here. So we know this one, we've done this quite a lot. 
let's say your right leg, whichever one, then we're on this one and we're pushing forward. So this is our initial stretch. What I want to do with the back foot is actually have it like this. We'll see why in a minute. And just push your hips forward. So this could be enough. What I want to try and do, which really stretches this and gets us right into a bit more movement. So your opposite hand, so if I've got my right knee forward, it's my right hand I'm going to move. Take it behind you, just to start with. So you're just feeling a bit of a twist, a bit of rotation. You can have this other hand here for stability. Now reach that hand back. So don't worry about reaching your foot, but imagine reaching towards it. So you're just twisting, you don't have to look at it, but just get that lovely stretch in there. If you think you can get to your foot, I can't even see my foot. You can, there we are, grab it. But really see how that feels. It's incredibly intense. Don't worry about reaching it. Could just be happy here. Breathe. Oh, release. Wow, I really feel that. That's a really lovely stretch. You really opened up your whole hips there really nicely. Let's just sit back into child pose to so just release that stretch. We're going to do the other side. You might find the other side easy. So I've got my left foot forward this time, pushing forwards. Again, staying there could be enough. And I'm going to have this foot tucked underneath. Purely because it's easy to reach the heel. I don't think I'd ever get there if it was flat. So. There is that. You might need a cushion under here, but push forwards. And I'm going to start, it's the same hand as leg, just taking that round the back and this hand here. So you're just starting to kind of open up a bit, push forward. I think I'm going to be easier this side. Then this hand reaching it back, I can see my foot a bit easier as well reaching it back yeah it's weird isn't it? I'm much easier this side the other side I thought I can't even see my foot just shows you reaching back keep driving the hips forward again just reach back don't worry about getting to that foot breathe into it One more lovely breath. Oh, release. Let's have a little sit back. And then just to release that. Well done. Lovely. So we're going to do a little bit more stretching now. Lie down on your back. Get my camera again. Sorry about the camera angles. I should. Uh... That's it. Okay, lying down, palms out, feet together, knees together, let them sway. And let them sway over to the right and let the neck look to the left, keeping the shoulders down. Come back to centre, gently let's take those legs the other way. Shoulders down, look over the other shoulder. Coming back to centre, let's cross the right foot over the left knee, bringing those legs in. So you're feeling a stretch in your right hip in the glute. That's what we've been, did quite a lot of work with today. Just easing it in, feeling it where you get a stretch. Let's just look right and left, release any tension in the neck. And then let's put the foot down, keep the ankle on the knee, hands down, let those legs fall over. I'm feeling the stretch here. Again, you can look over the other shoulder, just keep those shoulders down. Just 
Gently bring the head back to centre. Keep the ankle locked on here. Gently lift those legs up and just let them gently go to the other side. Feeling the stretch change that's in the front of the hip now. Keep the shoulder down, look over the other shoulder. Head back to centre, let's let the legs come back, untangle, get ourselves centred. Let's cross the left ankle over the right knee, bring those legs in, feeling that stretch in the hip. And then foot down, keep the ankle on the knee, hands to the side, let those legs fall over to the right, feeling that nice stretch in the lower back and the hip, keep the shoulder down, look over to the left. And gently relax, come back to centre, keeping the left ankle on that knee, can we gently change sides, gently, gently, and then look over the other shoulder. Back to centre, gently bring those knees back, come to untangle ourselves. Lying down, nice and long, just cross your right ankle over your left, put your arm up above your head and just bend over to one side and bend your feet in like you're trying to bend like a banana. So I'm bending my arms to the left and my feet to the left, it just really stretches the waist. And then I'm going to reverse it, so I'm going to cross my left ankle over my right, take my legs to my right and my upper body over to my right slightly as well. And release. And then find yourself a comfortable position that we can just start to relax in. Keeping the eyes open, take a nice deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Another deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's take one more deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, close the eyes. And then just think about your breathing. Thinking about the air, so I just want to put a nice relaxation song on. Thinking about the air coming through the nostrils, how it feels. The breath on the back of the nostrils, on the back of the throat. The chest rising and falling. Just really feeling that breath, feeling the air. And as you breathe in, think of the word life, because the breath is giving you energy, giving you life. Oxygenating all your cells, all your muscles, which will feel energised. On your out breath, think of the word love. Love that you're giving to yourself, love that you're giving to others. And then let's start to think about our body, thinking of our faces. Have we got any tension in the forehead, around the eyes? Can we just breathe into it and just smile, feel that tension leave? Then thinking about the mouth and the jaw, around between the ears and the jaw, is there relaxed, is there any tension? Can you just relax, breathe into it? Feel the tension melt away. Then 
Then thinking about where the head, the back of the head is into the floor and the neck, how's the neck feeling? Even if a little adjustment, a little nod side to side. How the back of the shoulders feel into the floor, the shoulder blades, the back of the ribs and the fronts of the ribs as they expand as you breathe. And then back up into the shoulders, coming down the arm, the elbows, the hands, the wrists, the fingers. Are they relaxed? Are they in a comfortable position? Is there any tension? Can we relieve it? Or do we just accept it, accept any little niggles and aches and pains and just breathe into it, moving on? Then thinking of our lower back as we touch the floor, our bottom, our hips, how that's feeling. Rolling down the back of the legs to the back of the knees. The ankles, the toes, the heels. Is there any tension? Can we release that tension? And just spend a moment here for yourselves, for you. You deserve this out of your busy day, a moment for you to love yourselves and just indulge. Gently, let's start to think about bringing some awareness back into the breath. So, a nice deep breath through the nose. Sensing the air through the nostrils, down the back of the throat, into the lungs. The chest is rising and falling. A little twitch of the nose, maybe a little nod of the head side to side. Little wiggle of the fingers and the toes. And maybe circle the wrists, circle the feet. And then maybe a little stretch. And gently placing one foot on the floor, then the other. And bringing in one knee to the chest, then the other. A little rock round side to side. Gently rolling over towards the right, keeping the eyes closed if you can, come into a child pose. Gently open the eyes, let the light in. Take a breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Nice and gentle. Lifting the head. Let's come to a seated position. Let's take a breath. A few breaths to finish. One more. Bring the arms back and give yourself a nice cuddle today and a pat on the back. Lovely. Well done. Thank you so much, everyone. And I hope to see you again next.